from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this day before Election Day this Monday afternoon. A KMA land election officials say Tuesday's general election turnout could be one for the record books. That's if absentee numbers are any indication. Final preparations took place at county auditors and clerk's offices across the region today, the last day for in-person absentee voting. Page County Treasurer Angie Dow is temporarily in charge of the county auditor's office in the wake of Melissa Wellhausen's recent resignation. Dow tells KMA News the county's experienced a great demand for absentee ballots. It's the same story in Fremont County where County Auditor Dio insists 1,237 absentee ballots had been returned as of today with only 30 outstanding. Owen hopes the 2024 general elections turnout exceeds that of 2016, with a record 69% of Fremont County's registered voters cast ballots. Polls in Iowa are open Tuesday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in Missouri. Nebraska polling hours are from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Iowa Western Community College officials are hoping workforce demands sway voters into approving a major bond issue referendum tomorrow. Voters in Iowa Western's coverage area decide Tuesday on a $55 million bond issue. Approval by the necessary 60% supermajority would pave the way for construction of a new diesel and automotive technology center on the college's Council Bluff Center. Also planned are renovations of the school's Clarenda Campus and Atlantic and Shenandoah Centers, including the creation of so-called industrial training labs. Iowa Western President Dr. Dan Kinney tells KMA News he feels good vibes about the election's outcome based on public feedback. If the bond issue is approved, Kinney says construction in all projects would take place within 18 months. Lewis Central administrators hope a slimmed-down bond issue proposal garners enough support for voters tomorrow. Last year, voters in the Lewis Central School District rejected a $90 million bond issue, falling short of the required 60% supermajority by roughly 9%. Which the bond issue proposed a wide range of infrastructure and safety upgrades at all of the district's facilities, along with purchasing land for and constructing a new elementary school and early childhood center. Now, after receiving feedback through a community advisory committee, school superintendent Brett Hazing tells KMA News the district is asking for up to $30 million, focusing mainly on infrastructure improvements and school safety. And KMA News continues its Meet the Candidates series, featuring candidates running in key races in tomorrow's general election. Our final report in this series features the Republican incumbent in Iowa's 4th Congressional District race, Randy Feenstra. You can hear the full interview with Feenstra with the web story at kmaland.com, as well as on our Morning Line page. And a reminder, KMA News will have live election coverage on election night in KMA Land. Our coverage begins with national election returns from ABC News at 6.30 p.m. with local returns as they come in. Stay with, with us through the night and into the wee hours of the morning. We'll keep you posted on election night in KMA land. KMA on track weather, showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, patchy fog, temperatures falling into the upper 50s, precip chances 90% this afternoon. Tonight, showers, possibly a thunderstorm, some patchy fog, lows in the mid-40s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.